You want a great pitch? Pitch just like you would tell your best friend something you love on TV. That's a freaking great pitch. Are you going to be passionate when you're telling your friends about something? Yeah. Are you memorizing word for word? Hell no. You're telling a story about character. That's a great pitch. Now, with animation or live action, you can't always produce something, time, money, whatever. You don't always want to either. I pitch with storyboards and animatics. For those of you who are not familiar with animatic, it's a video storyboard. Whether it's just cut together to a timeline, sometimes we'll have elements move on it. I'll show you a sample here in just a second. This is the way we used to pitch. I'd go to Nickelodeon, for instance. They've got this one room in the side building in, in Burbank. And it's got cork board on three walls. And I'd come in, and they, they ask you to get there 20, 25 minutes early, take all your storyboards. I'll have 300 sheets like that. And you go through, and you go all the way around, and you tack every one up all the way around. Then you go back to the beginning, and you tack up the next one, right? They give you all the thumbtacks, and you tack all these up all around the wall. There's a, a table like this in the middle of the room. And then you sit there, and then you wait. The executives come in, one to three executives generally. They can see all the, all the boards there. Generally, I might have some other big artwork so I can introduce the characters before I get into my pitch. And the first time I did it, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew I'd be up there given, you know, going panel to panel. I had my, my stick with me, and, you know, and you, you smack each drawing as you're going, and you're performing. Every voice, every note, and this has happened. And then when Dr. So-and-so goes and does this, and he says this, and then little Jimmy says, ah, and you act the whole thing out, right? So I get up from the desk. They're sitting across from me. I get up, and I walk over to the board, and I point at the first one, and I start talking, and I turn, expecting they're going to still be over there. No, they were right here. So, ah! <laughs> All three of them crowded around me so they could see the artwork. So as I'm going like this, and, and I would tend to kind of hop from one to the next just because, you know, why not? It's exciting. <laughs> they're doing that with me, all three, you know. So all four of us are like this, you know, going down. <laughs> they're in the entire pitch. That's great. It's fun. There's a lot of energy, right? But you don't necessarily really get the flow of a show, of an idea or what concept, from doing that. It's fun to do. I don't think it's the best way to pitch. I pitch with animatics. Because that's what a storyboard looks like if you're up close. All right, I can see it. You get it. You don't really get a sense of timing. You don't get a sense of the type of humor, because humor has to do with timing. If you screw up the edit, it's going to make it great or terrible. I want it to be great every time. I don't want to forget to have an inflection a certain way. I don't want to forget a certain line or do the wrong accent, which I'll often do when I'm doing those. You know, you're doing eight voices. God knows how to do each one. So now we do animatics. Let me show you a little clip of one. Loco! You get a sense of timing. You know what the show's going to look like. I don't need to animate it. Do any of you have the slightest question on what the show's going to look like in finished form? No. no. You get the humor. You get the look. This took me a couple weeks. Well, the whole thing was six minutes long. It took a couple weeks to do the entire animatic. Music, voice, all the artwork. You know how long it would take to do six minutes of quality animation and how much that would cost? Be months and months and months of work and tens of thousands of dollars. With this, if a, if a network looks at it and goes, you know, we like this, but you know, maybe we would want to tweak the characters so that the two boys look a little bit different, they're going to feel okay with that because it's in rough form. They're all used to seeing storyboards. If I bring them something that's really clean and finished, 
everyone feels, even if they don't think about it, I don't know if I can, you know, it's so finished, we can't really make any changes. So all of a sudden, this becomes a better pitch because it opens up for that back and forth. And this is what we do. To the, everything you saw on that was using Storyboard Pro. All the audio, all the editing, all the artwork, any changes instantly, I just hit play, and it's there. We used to draw on paper, scan the, the individual elements, cut mats across things, go into After Effects, do the moves, then go into Premiere or Avid, and then we'd edit together, and then we'd go into another thing to do the audio, and then we'd sync it together. And then any change, I'd go back to the beginning, and then start all over. All I do is go into any panel, whatever change I want to make, hit play. It has quadrupled how fast I am on everything that I do. We're doing this on every one of my movies, like Little Rascals right now. I can do an animatic as fast as I can draw, because I'm drawing on the timeline. So the director is getting not only the storyboards with all the notes, but he sees if it actually plays with a scratch track. Because I just do the voices myself real quick. It's fun. doesn't have to be great. You don't have to be a great actor for it. But instantly you know if it's working, because we all know how it is to watch video. Very few people can look at a storyboard and tell, is it going to play when it's all put together? So this is how we do all of our pitches now. 